I want to walk you through why we need to have a common control framework, how does it help you, um, and also how Trust Cloud helps set one up for you. So again, coming back, you go to the app switcher, go over to Trust Tops. When you come to Trust Tops, this is where we can help show you your readiness for all of your different audits. And for each and every one of these audits, you can come in here and see the audit readiness. And now if you click on the audit dashboard directly, this is where how we can communicate to you how many controls are passing versus failing, the evidence that is up to date versus outdated, and the policies that are approved versus unapproved. Now, how we collect this data is through our Trust Cloud Common Control Framework mapping. And the reason we do that is we automatically map all of the SOC 2 requirements in this case to the controls that are required to meet that requirement. Now, every framework you go to, you would have a framework requirement and you will have to do the mapping back to your own controls. The reason of having this common control framework is because you want to be in a position to say, here is my MFA or here is my single sign-on controls. And you should also be able to test it once and satisfy multiple different framework requirements at a single go, rather than testing MFA once for your PCI audit, once for your SOC 2 audit, once for your HIPAA audit, and that creates a lot of audit fatigue and even a lot of inefficiencies in the process itself. So having something like that, and I can walk you through how we can do it. If you click on any one of these controls, um, you would be able to come in here and notice on the standards page itself how we have done, and it's a completely platform-led mapping, where the MFA control is now linked to five requirements with an ISO, three in SOC 2, two in the CSF, and one in GDPR. And you can go and click directly here. And this allows you to scale your business and scale your compliance stack in response to your business needs, right? So if your customers are asking you to be PCI, now we can show you that, okay, you have MFA that also maps back to PCI and it will show you a certain coverage on the PCI side as well. Therefore, having a common control framework is very essential and it allows you to be able to scale easily rather than be reactive anytime some framework comes in to understand, okay, well, what does this mean and how am I going to implement this in my organization?